commercial flights now departing from Everett. Yes, as you wake up this morning, some big news breaking at 3 o'clock this morning. It was officially announced that anyone can now buy flights from Payne Field. King 5's Jake Wittenberg joins us now live from inside this brand new terminal in Everett. Jake, this is huge news. You've been working the store. You got the scoop for us. What have you learned? Yeah, we've uh, learned a lot actually in the last few hours. Alaska Airlines is now selling tickets to passengers out of Payne Field in Everett. Think of all the years that we've been talking about building up commercial flight here at this very terminal, and we're getting a look inside a live picture at what this terminal looks like. If you come here and you've booked a ticket, this is one of the first things you'll see the ticketing counters. You've got the kiosks. This is the big board, obviously not quite finished yet. They're putting the finishing touches on it, but uh, here we are this morning. Alaska said we'll offer 18 daily nonstop departures, a huge deal they've been talking about for decades. And and they are serving alongside United and Southwest all out of Payne Field. This is expected to be popular with an estimated 1.4 million passengers served every single year. Airplanes already fly in and out of Payne Field in Everett every day, but that's mostly just small private planes and operations at the Boeing plant. There's rarely a plane full of paying passengers, but starting next year, that changes when commercial flight begins. You can expect to see three airlines at first, Alaska, Southwest, and United. The plan is to expect 24 daily round trip flights out of Payne Field. In other words, a total of 48 takeoffs and landings. That means from Everett, you'll be able to get to cities like Los Angeles, Vegas, Portland, and Phoenix, among several others. It also means you may not have to fight traffic into SeaTac Airport anymore to catch that flight. The new two-gate terminal may be especially convenient in Everett for those of you in North King and Snohomish counties. Payne Field is 37 miles from SeaTac and 73 miles to Bellingham. Now, by comparison, by comparison, Payne Field commercial flights are expected to serve about 3% of the travelers you'll see at SeaTac. But like we said, it is a very good alternative for people that live in the north. And for the local economy, it's huge. Payne Field considered the economic engine of Snohomish County. Our aviation specialist, Glenn Farley, says all signs port to this airport being a huge success. We're not really going to know until everybody, you know, to see just how well ticket sales do. If people really sign up, if the prices are reasonable, if people don't have to pay a huge uh, premium for uh, the convenience of flying on a SeaTac, we're probably going to see more flights. Now, the FAA has only approved the current number of flights out of Payne Field, and as of this morning, only Alaska Airlines has confirmed tickets are now on sale out of the terminal. United and Southwest have not officially put tickets on sale yet. So, complete coverage this morning from the brand new terminal here in South Everett. We're going to be looking at a lot of different features of the airport all morning long, hearing from an Alaska executive and talking about the food offered here in the terminal as well. Coming up in about 15 minutes, we'll talk about the history as well. For now, we'll send it back to you guys. All right. Thank you, Jake. Thank you.